we're playing Aura Tribal in Modern. And hand with core spirit dancers in is a hand to keep. Several core spirit dancers, in fact. I mean, yeah, this this is a sweet ass hand actually. Like we can go core spirit dancer into core spirit dancer ethereal armor, or indeed core spirit dancer curiosity, and all the cards. So I'm, I'm broadly okay with this. Kind of broke till after Christmas, and tomorrow's likely going to be artifact all nighter. Sounds good. I mean, my Friday night is going to be either... Well, it's it's probably going to be very boring. <laughs> I'm definitely not going out to F&M. Um, I might play a bit of Overwatch. I'm not sure. We'll see. It might be that I'm in hospital. Who knows? You know, that's the fun of everything. <laughs> that's the fun of childbirth. All right. Opponent takes a Call Spirit Dancer. So that sucks. A little bit annoying. Never mind, so we do get at least one of them down, so... Core Spirit Dancer. Now, obviously still dies to a Assassin's Trophy, but... You know, we're trying our best. Bloodstained Mire cracks it for a stomping ground. Alright, it's just Jund. It's just Jund. Alright, fine, fine, fine. Bolts the Core Spirit Dancer. Okay. Adventurous Impulse. Puts Dragon Skull Summit into their hand. Mm-hmm. Okay, so slightly different to what I was expecting, but not you know, not overly different. Um so we need to basically be we need to have more toughness. Because our opponent's just gonna lightning bolt stuff if we let it. So we need to Hero of Eroas and Ethereal Armor. And I think that's big enough. So that should be a 4-4 now. So it's out of Lightning Bolt range. I mean, it's obviously in the Assassin's Trophy range. Next turn we can idle on and possibly Curiosity, depending what we draw. If we draw a land, then... Uh, Operation Stick Everything on a Hero of Eroas goes up pretty well. I, hopefully all our, opponent, all our opponents running is Lightning Bolts would be amazing. Chances are that's not quite true, but... Okay, so we cast this, so we want blue, blue, and then white, blue, paying white. So... Play white? Bloody mana. Right, okay. Add white and blue. Okay, add. Doesn't matter. Play white. There we go. Fine. Well, that was way, way more complicated than, I, than it needed to be, but sure. Saram. Yeah, the, the, the filter lands are really annoying. Really, really annoying. All right. Curiosity. Uh, triggers and triggers. Lots of triggers. I like triggers. Triggers are good. Draw a card. Equip curiosity. That's a 6-6. Six, six. Go in for attacks. Probably get path. No, not path. Assassin's trophy, perhaps. Or do we actually get damage through? Wow, six damage. Uh, yeah, we'll draw a card. Uh, yeah, always yes. Yes, please. So, player planes. Pass a turn. <laughs> yeah, push. We can do it. Take it. Get them while they're down, yeah. Opponent, Pulse of Marassa. That is interesting. What is this deck? I've never seen this card played, right? I wanted to put Damping Sphere in the sideboard. I don't think I said I wanted to put Damping Sphere in the sideboard. Did I say that? If I did, I, don't, I didn't mean it. I wanted a way... I think I wanted Detention Sphere. I wanted Detention Sphere. Detention Sphere for Elves. Yeah, if we get to drop Indestructibility, I think that is pretty much GG. I don't think our opponent can deal with Indestructibility. 
Ooh, right. Okay, Hasty Bloodbraid Elf. Sure. What did he cascade into? Burning Tree Shaman. I mean, that is not enough. It's not really enough. So now, real questions. I, s I guess we want to put the idol on on, Sur on Saram. Hmm. So I, I think we just attack with... So if we want, we can... So if we put idol on on Saram, that makes... Saram a big big so we can attack we can attack with both all right that feels good all right so we draw the card it's retether okay retether's great opponent is tapped out so seven seven yeah that's seven sevens on both sides in fact and i over tapped hmm that's that's not awful it's not the end of the world but it's not great it's not ideal Hmm. Had I played another hero, I might have been able to play Eidolon as well. Yeah. yeah. It's probably... This is probably fine. We get to take down two creatures. Opponent has to block. I mean... Yeah, I, mean, I think we're in a good spot. I think we're in a good spot. Also, I mean, this saves us from a damnation or some of the horrible wrath, so... <laughs> Bloodbraid Elf number two. Goes and gets a tireless tracker this time. All right. Yeah, Bloodbraid Elf is a really good way of making blockers. Let's uh, let's let's be clear. That is a lot of heroes of Um All right. Well, we'll attack because take down creatures. This is this is the right way of doing it. Maybe we'll play another hero so we can actually, um, you know, actually have some more threats and then our opponent needs to yeah i think this is fine i think if we play a hero we should be okay i think we even get to draw a card yeah sweet all right counters and drawing cards it's an island but still all right cool 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 i'm happy Opponent has to deal with, and they can't do it. Like they have to deal also with retether. Like that is pretty hard. Okay, so opponent is are they? They're not really graveyard. This is just jund, right? There's no actual graveyard shenanigans or anything like that. They're just playing jund good stuff. So I don't really necessarily think we care too much. Possibly we bring in some ley lines over, say, Celestial Mantle and One Aid. Just so we've got a chance of uh, not being hit with Discard, but realistically, I think we're in a good spot. Well, if we can get stuff down fast. Yeah, ley line is good if they are real jund. So we'll stick, like, like I said, we'll stick two in. Um, yeah, it did look a bit budget. Um, yeah, because there, there were some three drops that I would wasn't expecting, shall we say. Um, you know, I think, you know, Bloodbraid Elf normally cascades into something like a Liliana rather than a... What the hell was it that came out? I mean, Tarlis Tracker is actually fairly standard, but the... Um, uh, what was it? Bloodbraid Elf, Burning Tree Shaman. Like, yeah, I wasn't expecting that. I'm, I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with how the deck's operating, actually. Like, this evening it's been really... I think this has been pretty sweet. We've, uh... Ooh. Ooh. This is a hand. We are a land away from this hand being amazing. Well, it's already pretty amazing, actually. Like, Hero into Eidolon is... Pretty good. All right, leyline. All right. <laughs> any any game that I start with a leyline, I'm happy. Just it's a nice little safety blanket. It's like, oh yeah, our opponent's doing nasty things to us, but uh, well, our opponent, our opponent wants to do nasty things to us, but they have to do them fairly. They have to do them through creatures. Whereas, uh, 
you know, we're, we're just going to carry on, do our, do our thing. Um, yeah, I mean, Hero here into Armor, into Daybreak Coronet is kind of a beating. I, I, my opponent really needs to be able to deal with that. I think I'm going to get the Spirit Dancer down first, though. Now, the reason I'm going to get the Spirit Dancer down first is this is better when we can immediately cast something that will protect it. So, that's the reasoning. Our opponent might just bolt this. If they bolt it, then fine. Like, that's not the end of the world. If they tap out, then we have Ethereal Armor. So, so opponent plays Stomping Grounds untapped, takes the damage, and passes. All right. I mean, well, we're going to go for it, but because we need to draw the card. <laughs> we really do need to draw a card. Yeah, we'll draw a card. Hey, it's planes. And does it resolve? It resolves. Wow. Okay. Um. Yeah. I mean, I've got to, right? I've got to. Turn 3, 10, 10, first strike, vigilant lifelink. Modern modern's a fun fun game sometimes. That is that is pretty aggressive. Gain six life. All right. Yeah, yeah, sure. How the hell did they target? Oh, they, they cracked their land for that. Right, I see. Jeez. I think it's even lethal next turn. <laughs> we took down Jund. We took down Jund with a 10-10 core spirit dancer. My, that was... That was it. That was explosive. That was that's properly good. I mean, it's it's probably not Bogle's good, but that's I'll take it. I'll take that. That is, yeah, I like it. 